Berber Scree says, if you appreciate my help, then please hit subscribe. Subscribe right here. Subscribe. Oh, yep, right there. Subscribe. And if you like, maybe it would be helpful if you also like. Please like. Thank you very much, says the Berber Scree bird. Hello, it's Mark. Kilgore, the bedbug engineer, and Sosa, the pit bull puppy dog, bedbug engineering technician. Good little dog. Okay, today we're going to show how to heat treat. This is uh, the number one method. I don't think I would have ever won the war without this. Our disclaimer about this video I'm not promising you that these propane fumes, you know, unvented, are not going to hurt or kill you or your pets. I'm not promising you that you're not going to burn your house down. I'm not promising you anything. I'm just telling you this is how I heat treat and this worked for me. So if you follow the same level of uh, safety, same level of, of carefulness, then you ought to be okay and and you know no one and nothing is is in the room you know that's getting heat treated anyhow so yeah the fumes ought to be heavy in there go in there for short amounts of time if you're going in there um, the heat's going to be bad anyhow but anyway i wanted to give a disclaimer and say this is just how i do it i'm not responsible for anything that happens to you guys is bad okay be careful uh follow your own judgment and, and the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord God Jesus. Here it goes. So, materials that we've got. We've got a couple of VersaLock uh, retaining wall blocks. Uh, you can get a number of bricks if you want to. I've got uh, half of a brick, a broken brick. I've got some kind of a cloth that I found on the road one day that I think is uh, it's got a little flame retardancy value. If not, I would use uh, a normal towel or two. Try, try to pick one that your brain says is not super ready to catch on fire. Okay. For You should be able to get this item between $50 and $60. Propane gas. This is, uh, it says uh, 15 pounds. Uh, I thought that they, I think that they say that this is a 50 gallon, I, I don't know. What, whatever, whatever size this is, man, you know, obviously, like, like here, here's my leg, you know, relative to it. You know, this thing is like 15 inches off the ground here to my hand. I believe it's, okay, 20 gallon, I think it's 20 gallon. Right? Anyhow, it says 15, 15 pounds, or 15.9 pounds, I think that says, or is that a zero? Who cares? Anyhow, 20 gallon uh, container of propane there. You get it for 50 or $60. Now for 50 or $60, you should also be able to get a heater that attaches on, okay? This one is Lobo, is the brand, L-O-B-O. -O. Now I'm going to connect this on here. This part here is going to receive this part here. All right, bear with me as I try to set up the camera so you can take a look as I do this. Hold on, I'm 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 just a rookie. I'm working at this. Okay, if I can give you a good angle here, of what we're doing. All right. So there's that part. Here's this part. This part goes into this part. And there's 
there's a little knob to twist here. If you do like this, it's not good, but you do like this and it's gonna lock in and and you're gonna be able to, to start twisting this in there. So I'm pushing in a, a little bit this way with my right hand, with this hand, and then turning with my left hand. No, I was turning the wrong direction. All right. Now we're starting to get, starting to get there. I'd say I'm gonna tighten this up to about 80 percent. Now you can see this thing move. There's this other lever that comes down. That's controlled by this little wing nut here. That controls this part here. You wanna push. The Sosa, stop it or you're not going to get a Scooby snack. Go lay down in your bed. Okay, sorry about that. Can't have a dog scratching himself, making a big distraction. I'm trying to push this down as far as I can and tighten this on there real good so that, that the weight of this uh, heater I want it to be borne by this pad. There's this little uh, pad at the bottom of the metal there. That, and that's what it wants to bear the weight. Now I'll tighten this thing up the rest of the way. Okay, stop turning. All right, we got this securely mounted, I believe. I think this thing is uh, uh, able to be fired up at this point. We're not ready to do it yet. So now let's get our setup. So there it is. The heater mounted onto the propane tank. The propane heater mounted onto the propane tank. So. Now, uh, to do this, you want to have a little bit of an open way left and right, and, 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 uh, and as it runs this way, you want it even wider. You want to clear things out. You want to clear things out, so this is the only thing here. I think I've got about six feet from this bed over to this uh, wooden piece of furniture. That's going to be plenty. All right. Move my brick and my Versalock block a little bit. I'm going to set up this uh, set up this flame retardant. Um, little blanket thingy whatever it is this thing's about two and a half feet wide by about three three and a half feet long perfect for this okay I'm gonna set down one versa lock block way to the rear here um, I'm actually going to set him up uh, off the towel. I'm making a mess here. Now, I'm going to bring this heater over here. I'm going to measure how, how exactly I want this to sit on here. Okay. Bring in the other verse lock block. And you want these blocks approximately centered. Let me center this up a little bit better here. You want those basically centered on this tile. It doesn't have to be perfect. Now, the base of this thing is this circular ring here. So you don't want these too far apart. 
maybe slightly closer is good. That's just that much space between them. And set your heater up there very gently. The distance split, so that distance there is equal to about that distance there. Kind of split right over the middle. And you want it aimed straight away that way. I haven't got it aimed straight that way yet. But now we want to add this brick so we can get this thing aimed up in the air a little bit. That's just a little bit more than I want. Boy, I just want it, just want it up a little bit. Just want it up a little bit. I'm actually gonna do this to these paper towels and shove them right under here. This is not, this is not gonna be hot right there. Okay, I'm rocking it back and forth to see how steady is that. Not, not really as steady as I want it to be. So what am I going to use here? I see an ink pen. Put that on the other side. Right there, stabilize it perfectly. See that ink pen under there. Now this now this thing is not wanting to rock anymore. Okay. Alright. I think I've got it perfectly aimed down range. Um, I actually am a little, a little closer to the bed than I want to be. Try for four to six inches. Okay, I think that's I think that's a go now. This distance here is about equal to this distance here. Aim straight down range. I'm gonna get this chair out of the way. Just push it out of the way. Okay, so nice and open. This brake doesn't matter. I'll just set him out of the way right there. Okay. Where's our uh, lighting it up tool? Our long range lighter. Um, okay. I'm gonna go out where one of is. Just a second. Okay. 
Hopefully this one's still got a light or two left in for us. Okay. And we got a thermometer there. Check the temperature. So, the way you get this guy going here. Um, The controls here, there's low, medium, and high. Right now it's on off. Set it to high. Okay, this thing's got a safety, so right now it's not clicking out gas. That This uh, red button here, I'm going to be pushing that. Okay, now we're going to set down the camera, see if I can still allow you to see this. Okay. All right, that's... Now this hole here, this is a safety hole. You're supposed to get on this back side here, like that, and stick the lighter through the hole. Okay, I'm in position. Now I'm going to push down the red button and or hold on. One other thing left to do. Let's open up the gas valve right here. Okay, so this is open this direction. We do that. Open that sucker up all the way. Okay. Let's try again. Stick the lighter through here, push the red button. And light this thing up and pull this away. Holding down the red button for about 10 seconds. Really, I'd say until this gets nice and red hot, let go. Okay. So, this thing puts out incredible amounts of heat the, the thermometer says like uh, 74 degrees right now let's just set set this here for a minute I mean I really honestly can't put my hand much closer or I, I can't take it for the heat. A lot of times, most of the time, but I guess more maybe in cold temperatures, when this uh, heater is heating up, it'll for just a little bit make a. Loud noise. What is this? Is the dog sneeze? My oh, baby sneeze. sit there and, and take it like uh, so I'll tell you this that's the first still the first propane tank I've ever bought I have never had to buy two and I treated this room once uh, another room once and another room three times so five rooms are treated on the same 50 55 dollar maybe 60 dollar gallon t uh, or a 20 dollar tank of propane this thing gets super duper hot. This bell here, and this thing that's red hot. I mean, that thing is so hot. It's pretty. It's pretty mesmerizing to stare at too.
Sosa, stop eating your foot. You don't want a Scooby snack? Okay, we're going to give you your Scooby snack. Now, I'm, I'm already starting to feel the heat in here. Scooby snack. And and remember, if you think I was, you think what I'm doing is worth a Scooby snack, please subscribe. Especially if you would like more Scooby snacks from me. Thank you. So this thing's starting to heat up this room. I got this sitting here. It's 80 degrees or 81 degrees. Anyway, I'm not. I'm not gonna keep going. Uh, it's summertime. I really don't need the heat, but I do want to demo demo this for you. Now it's relatively safe to do. Now people will talk about all oh, the fumes of it and stuff. You know, I haven't found that to be a problem yet. I can smell it some. You know, I definitely wouldn't want to have my birds around. I mean, nobody and nothing. Uh, alive is to be in this room while this room's being heat treated. You know, you wouldn't want to. You wouldn't want to put your your dog or your cat or your birds or any anybody through this. Uh, you know, no more than you'd want to stand in here at uh, 130 degrees for an extended period of time. Now, how how long you do this? The the time is not is not the uh, thing. And and uh, what will this room? What will this heater heat up? This room here that I'm standing in is, I think, 15 feet by 14 feet, something like that. And and also, then there's that uh, master bathroom there. And I tried to heat treat uh, all of this and that with that and some electric heaters. And maybe that was asking a little bit too much, but we did pretty good. In my opinion, we heat treated this room effectively, and that room, you know, we were maybe lacking a little bit, I don't know. But, uh, you know, this thing will definitely do a room that's 100 square feet, super easy. One that's 150 square feet, you know, I'd say super easy. You know, 15 by 15 room, shouldn't have a problem doing it. And, and uh, what you need to do is, temperature-wise, um, the feistiest bed bug uh, to kill temperature wise is probably the eggs and uh, those eggs uh, they'll all be dead once you get to 125 degrees once you get to 125 degrees those, those uh, it, it needs to be 125 degrees everywhere so you know, and like if if there's a, a bunch of clutter, or even if you've got one of these pillows just over there laying on the floor, if if a bed bug crawls all the way in there, under under in there under there to the center of that pillow, he'll probably survive this heat treatment. You you've got to clear. You've got to clean up your place. You've got to clear things out. You got to make sure that the underneath of your bed is is clear, and uh, especially uh, to a level that um, you know don't have any boxes and junk under there. And you also got to think that in some some beds, when a person gets on them, they go down some in the middle. And in my uh, roommate's room there next door, that was the problem. He'd get on it. And then the stuff that was underneath his bed, well, it wouldn't look like they wouldn't be touching when he's not under there. There'd be like two inch gap. He'd get in there, boom, touching all over the place. Gave him a ladder up and down to avoid the climb up. Anyway, so that's that's about it. And uh, and you know you'll want to check this thing and you'll want to like feel. Oh, is this door getting hot? You know, is, is, is this bed get hot? Is anything getting hot? Uh, is this getting hot? Is the floor getting hot? You know, check things out. You know, this thing, once this, uh, once you get everything checked all out, you know, and half an hour's gone by, an hour's gone by, an hour and a half's gone by, two hours gone by, and you come in here and you're feeling all these surfaces around here that could possibly be getting hot by it, and none of them are getting hot, 
then then you're safe on that then the only thing you'd have to be concerned about is these fumes and I have never ventil I've never personally never done any ventilation well the more ventilation that's that's allowing more air transfer uh, inside and outside right so uh, any anyhow uh, that's how to heat treat heat treatment is your number one way to win this war your number one way to win this war is heat treatment right Sosa come here Sosa you want Scooby come here Sosa Scooby snack come here I'm gonna give you a Scooby come here come here daddy come here daddy oh da come here come here Come here, Daddy. Come here. Oh, come here, Daddy. Oh, oh, oh. oh that's big Sosa. That's big Sosa. Yeah. All right. Well, if you th again, if you think I'm, if you think uh, what I did, let's get out the Scooby snacks. If you think what I did is worthy of a Scooby snack then please give me a Scooby Snack by subscribing and uh, that way I can keep on giving you good Scooby Snacks and the variety of awesome videos that the Almighty Lord God Jesus helps me to and and many times directs me to make okay before we crank this off we're checking in on the temperature here again Just laying on the bed over here and it says that we're up to 87 degrees 87 degrees folks look at take out okay that's good for me to shut this thing down all one needs to do I mean they could close the gas valve here that would do it I'm gonna turn this little controller to off and uh, and then secondarily I'm gonna go ahead and close this down close you see turn that direction my pen just fell out there from me shaking this thing around that's how you eat treat and so, uh, so th that's it for us, uh, Sosa. Right, little Sosa? Well, here's a nice video for you. And here's one. And here's one. Yeah, you're a nice dog. Well, we love you, and Lord God Jesus loves you infinitely more. Bye-bye.